story. With the fall of the ancient city of Palmyra and a nearby military base, ISIS now controls half of Syria. There are fears ISIS soldiers will destroy the city's priceless artifacts as they've done in other cities because they view the historic treasures as sinful idols. This after ISIS fighters seized the city of Ramadi in Iraq over the weekend. Critics are again saying the White House strategy against ISIS is not working. The administration says it is, and no formal strategy review is planned. President Obama doesn't think America is losing and told The Atlantic magazine the fall of Ramadi is just a tactical setback. Defense experts disagree, telling lawmakers on Capitol Hill Thursday that the U.S. strategy is failing, and that's why the U.S. is losing to ISIS. Looking at this strategy today, we know now that the conceptual plan is fundamentally flawed. We are, in fact, losing this war. Moreover, I can say with certainty that this strategy will not defeat ISIS. ISIS is not losing. I believe that the U.S. has continued to underestimate the Islamic State, which I suspect shows a lack of understanding about the Islamic State, its capabilities, strengths, and weaknesses, and how it sees the fight and a path to victory. The administration would like the world to forget that President Obama once belittled ISIS as just the JV team, the junior varsity. It's far from that. This is a group of unfathomable evil, and unfortunately they are extremely effective. This is a serious threat. What I can't discern is any coherent American strategy uh, to respond to this threat. It's abundantly clear that ISIS knows what it's doing. And critics warn it's less clear that the White House does. Dale Hurd, CBN News.